Crusader Kings 3 is a game I'm sure many of you are waiting for just like me. Finally releasing on the 1st of September 2020. And it's already been a full year and an incredible year for Crusader Kings 3. It came at a time when many people were stuck at home. And in the first month alone it sold 1 million copies and got scores like 91 out of 100 on Metacritic and 10 out of 10 by IGN. Highly praising its storytelling and crowning a new king of historical strategy. It has a lot to live up to with the highly loved Crusader Kings 2. Crusader Kings 3 brings many new features and after trying it I never went back to CK2, even with having so much more content with all the DLCs, but CK3 just took all my attention. Due to the new UI being really intuitive which I think will really help with keeping new players interested and easing the learning curve. A new skill tree mechanic allowing you to further focus your character on certain skills. And another massive feature for this game is 3D character portrait. And it does just make such a big difference in a game that each character is so important. And this helps immerse you into their stories. You have contracts with every vassal. All of these features just give Crusader Kings 3 a really solid base for launch. We have had frequent dev diaries to keep the players up to date with Paradox's plans for the future, which is nice to see them so involved with the community. In March, Northern Lords released the first major expansion and gave some much needed love to your Viking playthroughs, adding new Casas Belles, Holy Warriors, new decisions and events. And all of this just made the Vikings really stand out and made them a lot of fun to play and truly just allowed you to play as an evil ruler. And next we do have the Royal Court. The date is yet to be announced, but we should get it at some point this year. But from what we know so far, many people are excited. A throne room will further your immersion, allowing you to see a court, new events to help you in peacetime. But the biggest feature is the introduction of hybrid cultures. Paradox has already done a lot for the game, but it will be a long time before it reaches the content added by CK2's DLCs. The modding community having just such a short amount of time made so many giant mods that completely changed the game, bringing you to new worlds like Middle Earth, the medieval Japan, into a world full of vampires, or the massive amount of other mods adding new events, cultures, religions, and all of this just gives you so much to do while you wait for the next DLC if you're bored with vanilla. Like, just so much has already been done in one year, it's crazy to think about what mods we will have in another. The possibilities are endless, and mod has already been pushing the new limits. The Royal Court DLC with the Throne Room I think will add even more possibilities. Crusader Kings has always stood out from the rest, due to the focus on the story, the characters, in a strategy game, say compared to the usual focus of a nation. There's just so much to do here, and if you really wanted, you could capture and eat the Pope or unite the whole world, use inbreeding to create the ultimate family. And Crusader Kings 3 just hit the mark, although it wasn't without issues. Many people were quick to mention the AI was pretty stupid doing war, half the time splitting up and losing wars because of this. Although patch 1.1 addressed a lot of the issues with this, with many changes to the AI but it's still not perfect like Crusades for example. The game still has a long way to go. We have to remember CK2 had 8 years to evolve to become what it did today. Crusader Kings 3 already has such a strong community. There's many discords for all the mods, or even ones that create multiplayer games for you to participate in. Paradox did recently announce that the game's coming to next-gen consoles. There doesn't really seem to be much information on how exactly it will control, but from what we've seen, Stellaris worked okay on them, so I'm sure they can pull something off for this. If, for whatever reason, you haven't tried Crusader Kings 3 yet, and you're on the fence about it, I couldn't suggest it enough. It's the perfect game to be immersed and carefully plan your attack to kidnap your rival and take his realm for yourself all the way to forming the biggest empire. I just want to end the video quickly by saying I had some issues with my PC, that's why it's been so long since I last uploaded. I lost like basically everything on my computer so five mods should be out this week and hopefully next week I can start getting some normal uploads back again but thank you so much for watching and if you are new around here consider subscribing and of course I want to end the video by saying a massive thank you to all the channel members. Members. We have Bayek Von Quark, Arcane Fusion, Damien, Intermio One, Irrelevant, and Luke Jarrett. All your support is massively appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.